the Copper John undoubtedly one of the most successful flies in the last 25 years. Created by John Barr of Colorado in 1996, this pattern really did take the fly fishing world by storm. And like many successful patterns, it has spawned a few variations. Now the original one's not hard to tie, but it does take a little while because there are quite a few materials in it. And I came up with the one I'm about to show you sometime last year when I was just looking for some substitutions that might make it a little bit quicker of a tie. And I found that when I substituted a cactus chenille for the peacock curl, that I could skip the legs. So this definitely makes it a little bit quicker to tie. And I have had a couple of double digit fish days on a single one of these patterns, so I don't think it's any less durable than the original. And this is one of the great things about fly tying, taking a great pattern and changing it up a little bit to suit your needs. In this case, I just simplified it a little bit, and I don't think I've tied an original one since I started tying this version. It's just worked that well for me. I think y'all are gonna like it. So there it is, my easy Copper John. See those strange looking legs? Yep, that's because I'm cheating a little bit on this guy. Now, my most common sizes for this are 14s and 16s. You could certainly go bigger or smaller, but this is what I've been using, and it works pretty well for me. Now this hook, this is actually an A-Rex. It's a dry fly hook, but it works for me and I like it. Now I will put some weight down. This is 015 and five or six wraps, really just to give it a little bit of extra weight to bulk up my thorax and to lock this bead in. Now I'm gonna use some black thread. This is a 70 denier. I'll put it down behind this weight a few wraps over it then take it back to the bend of the hook. Now the first thing I'm going to catch in, some goose spots, and I'm going to go with black for this color scheme, but certainly use any color you want. And I'm going to make it pretty long, I'm just going to lay them on either side of the hook. Just kind of make sure you got them splayed out like you want, I think that's going to be fine right there. Now just some tighter wraps going forward. Use these biots here to help fill in this area behind this weight. Now I'm going to take a few extra wraps, just try to smooth this little area right here, not a big deal really. Now the body is gonna be this copper wire and this is a size brassy, which works well for a 14 or 16. We'll catch it in parallel to the hook, all the way back to here to the tail where we're gonna start wrapping it. Now take our thread up here and park it about where we're gonna stop it. Now if you got a rotary vise, this might be a good time to use it. If not, just realize it's gonna take you about a minute or so to get all these wraps up to the front of the fly. And what I will usually do is pull a little extra thread out, take it up, wrap around this wire, down, do another wrap, and do that same thing again. Now I've really locked it in couple extra wraps right here and then we can spin this off. Take a look, make sure you didn't leave a sharp nub. If you did, just a few loose wraps right there to bury it. Now you do want some kind of thin skin for a wing case. I'm gonna use purple because why not? I have purple and I really never use it. You could certainly use anything you want here. A light color would be just fine. A black would work well too. Take it a little bit back so we're, our, our wing case and thorax isn't too small here. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine right there. Now here's where I'm cheating a little bit. Just some cactus chenille, any color you want. I think for this scheme I've got right here, black's gonna work and it doesn't take much at all. Let's just catch this in. We're probably gonna get about, I don't know, maybe two or three wraps. We'll see, whatever looks right. Just park our thread right here behind the bead and then just wrap this up. Now we'll use this wing case to kind of create a, a flat area on the back right there. A couple tight wraps, maybe throw one up under it, another one over it. And I think we've got it caught in. We can go ahead and snip this. Now, a three or four turn whip finish. And you can call this thing done. Or if, if it's a little bit too buggy, just take your scissors and trim some of these, these guys right here until you get the 
amount of legs you want. So that's it. Very simple pattern. I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.